Hello and welcome to module three, the influential manager. So I've put this early in the program because I think this is so important. So how can you be influential as a manager? It's such a big area. Now, who gets this right all of the time? I don't know anybody. You know, there's times when you just struggle to get the influence you're looking for. But here's my tips. Here's the things that I would like to share with you to make you more influential. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of lessons on this particular module. So you might want to split it up. By all means, if you get tired, pause it, come back to it, because there's a lot of elements to this module. So we're going to have a look at what it means to be influential. So when we talk about being an influential manager, what does that actually mean? We're going to look at assertiveness, the behavior of influential people. And we're going to contrast that to other types of behavior that you may have seen and of course, demonstrated yourself. How to become more assertive. So some tips and tricks about being more assertive, both in management and other areas of life. Then we're going to look at vision, why it's important to have a vision and how you can go about creating that vision. Influencing other people's attitudes and intentions. So it's one thing trying to get yourself to be assertive, but how do you influence other people's attitudes and intentions? particularly your team. Communication skills, obviously really important for a manager. So we're going to have a look at how we do that with a view to influencing people in particular. Influencing people through listening, which perhaps sounds a bit odd, but often we think about influencing as, you know, saying the right thing, just that turn of phrase that gets somebody to believe you. But often influencing is better achieve through listening. So we're going to have a look at some listening skills. Influencing peers, your colleagues, people that you work with. Influencing your boss. How do you do that? How do you have a chance at influencing your manager? And finally, how do you deal with difficult people? We're going to cover that too.